Fibula. So my action my actual name is Rodrigo. Yeah, but my you know my name in the night, let's say now, is Rod Fibula. I'm from Brazil, I'm from Sao Paulo. I'm living in Ireland about nine years. So yeah, that's me. Okay, what about you? Hi, I'm Rod Tibia. Rob Tibia, right? <laughs> Taking my name. I'm Rob Tibia. Uh, I'm from the south of Brazil and I've been playing the tunes Goth Post Punk for Dance to the Underground. Yeah. I think that's Good. it. Nice. And how did you get together to to the, that idea, to, to that party, how that started? Yeah, I think everything starts from the boredom, you know, like a lot of things start from, you know, the lack of things, you know, when it was the last year after, you know, lockdown and everything, we just like sick of being stuck in this couch. And then um, we both, we always played in Brazil back then, like as a DJ, so like a, a Rob in the goth. Uh, parties. I was always playing in punk parties. So then I had the idea to send a message, a mail to Fibers asking, you know, because actually they are asking people to join them, to promote parties. And then one day I was there, not doing much, and then I said, you know what, I'm gonna send an email again that I sent before, you know, when I arrived here nine years ago. And saying, listen, I have an idea. Actually, I had a great idea, and then I need a place to, you know, to do it. And I needed, you know, just to sort out time and, you know, what, what can be done. And then in my head, I was like, they're going to say no and they're never going to answer. Fifteen minutes after, I got a message saying, okay, lo love your idea, so when are you going to start? And then I said, wow, great. And then I sent a message to that, okay, what about the two months, maybe a month time? And he said, what about two weeks? And it was all mm. fuck. <laughs> so then I was talking to Rob, my, you know, my partner, my boyfriend. And then I said, listen, I have a party to run and I need you to help me to be, you know, in the music scene, like, you know, to help with the music. So then mm -hmm. he said... Yeah, yeah, he said, like, would you, would, you, would you go back to the, to the musical scene and would you DJ again? Would you help me with this project? And I said, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Why not? And then he mentioned, okay, it's going to be in two weeks. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go for it. <laughs> It's a good challenge to start. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. <laughs> and the f was funny part, because the original idea was just to have a, a dance night, you know, the idea became the dance to the underground, to dance to underground tunes, like as we say, alternative tunes and obscure music. And then, but like, I was wondering, I need something else to bring more people in, you know, I need something, you know, big, and was thinking, rethinking, thinking, rethinking, and then came to my mind, all right. Plus, beside of being, doing the DJ thing, I gonna do a performance in a party. I gonna do myself something, you know, in the middle of the thing, I'm gonna just start in there walking, doing some performance, some dance. Because I, I knew in the first part to be only my friends, you know, our friends. So then I was like, okay, fine. And then I was talking to Rob, saying, listen, I'm gonna do a performance. And then he, he can explain what he said. <laughs> well, yeah, he came up with the idea about uh, going for performances and then he said, well, have you done this before? And he said, no, never. And I said, okay, so maybe it can be a bit challenging for you. Maybe you can, we can, jo we can call some more people to join us, right? And then he said, yeah, why not drag queens? And I said, yeah, why not drag queens, right? And then he contacted some of the queens. Yeah, then I, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Then I start like to looking, you know, because like in Ireland, we, we're full of drag queens, you know, amazing that drag queens. But we don't have a place where the alternative drag queens they can do their thing, you know. I don't even know before that we have alternative drag queens here. And then I was talking to the main drag queens in the scene, and then I said, "Listen, I have an idea, I have a party that I'm running two weeks time, and I need someone that would like to, you know, join forces and you know, and come to dance with us." But again, it'll be a drag performance, but I'm talking about rock and roll thing, you know. Like, as we say, like, uh, you know, we have nothing against Lady Gaga, but we love Curtain Love. So if you want to play with us, you're not going to play Gaga. But you go for Curtain Love, you go for Six in the Benches, you go for Blondie. all Blondie, all mm -hmm. these people. 
And then, like, surprisingly, I got a message from, from three of them saying, yes, I'm in, you know, we're gonna do this. And then I said, okay, fine, but we don't have budget. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, no trouble, we do this and let's see how it goes. So then for the first night, we had one of the main drag queens in Ireland. Uh, she's, uh, her name is Pixie Oo. And also we have, uh, you know, the two drags that are our main core now. That's uh, Coco Ree and Lavender Queen. So the three of them, they did an amazing job, you know, like it's something that was in our dreams for so long to have like a, a really like a punk rock drag show, you know, and that was the first time like all my fr our friends were there and then few people, you know, few newcomers that we, we met because we did the social media thing, they, they got to see the party. So it was amazing, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, 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 truly amazing. And then more people started coming to the party and then People just saying, oh my god, that's it, we needed this, we wanted this, and we have to keep this. That's what I heard in the crowd <laughs> uh, while walking around people and dancing together. Yeah. Seems like everyone was waiting for that, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely, yeah. I was yeah. talking to some friends uh, that we met at the party, actually, because, you know, we're not, we are trying to create not a party, but like a community, you know, that's because we queer people we like we strange weirdos misfits we need a place you we don't have it you know well now we have but before we didn't have it so we, we you know if you want to you know do some rock and roll you're going to fibers of course but you, you know sorry straight people but it's full of straight people you need more queer more colors more, you have more space. this exactly more <laughs> kinkness you know so then that's the thing that you know people are like the embracing is like not only as a party but a place where they feel safe yeah and they can dance they can wear whatever they want they can you know talk to people they can be themselves you know in, in dance you know because that's the idea to, to move to dance to see performance to see bands to you know enjoy the music from the djs so i think we you know we're starting a thing you know it's just we had only three parties right yeah so, but it's doing good, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're doing better and better. we go to the roots of uh, goth post-punk and punk first I think uh, this uh, gender fluid character was always ha had always been present and uh, these subcultures they are kind of based on the androgyny side of humans so uh, we believe that the scene being based on this aspect uh, can be a safe space for queer people, not just for straight people, but mainly for queer people to be themselves and to have their fun and mainly to dance to the underground. Yeah, and then, you know, what's a place that was missing in Dublin? In the, you know, the Dublin scene yeah. is a beautiful thing, you know, D Dublin is, is full of, you know, alternative people, full of music, you know. But was we're missing here a place for you know the rock and roll, the alternative, the punks, the goth, you know, connected with the queerness, because you know we have all the rock and roll places here, of course, we have all the gay places here. But what about to mix them, you know? Because you know if you go into big cities in the world, I'm from São Paulo, they're full of places like this. You can go every weekend if you want. Like if you go to Paris, if you go to London, you know, America, full of them, you know, but here in Ireland, in Dublin itself, you know, we never had. I don't know if you never had, you know, I'm not from here, cannot say properly, but for the last 10 years that I'm here, I never heard about it. And that was a kind of 
our, our dream, you know, because we're going, you live in Dublin to experience like, uh, you know, a different party somewhere else, but why not you can do this at home, you know, that Dublin is our home. Yeah. And we are full of, you know, amazing queer people here. So we, you know, the idea of the party to dance to do underground is to gather everybody. Yeah. It should have a, you know, a big party, a big feast of music, of dance, of, you know, alternative people, a queerness, a performers, you know, bands, like... Creativity all together. Creativity. We, did, we didn't want to, to have to choose be, between going to a, a, a gay club to listen to pop music or going to an alternative club, straight club, to listen to alternative music. We, we wanted to have this together, you know? Yeah. So. And it's just fair, you know? It's super it's, fair. It's just yeah. fair. We, why not? We, why not? We need it, you know? Yeah. It's, it's all right. We win, win, you know? Everybody wins. <laughs> exactly. And that's the thing, when you think, when you don't have a space like this, you have to create one. You know, that's every, all the ideas comes from the lack of existence. You know, when you don't have it, okay, I don't have it, what am I gonna do? I have to create. If I don't create, I'm gonna be always the same. You know, that's, you know, that's the, the main thing. <laughs> <laughs> nice, guys. Yeah, I start like, you know, because I was always, you know, in the punk scene, let's say. I'm from Sao Paulo. So the punk scene there in Sao Paulo is very big. You know, everywhere, every weekend you have a gig. Every, you know, every week, you know, every weekday even, you have a gig. So I started going out when I was very young, like 13 years old, 14 years old. So going to the gigs and, you know, meeting people, discovery bands. And, you know, that's got, it got me, you know. Because, like, the punk music, the scene is not only about the music. It's about what it represents to you. It's about, you know, be wild. It's about politics. It's about to know what you want. It's about to definitely know what you don't want. You know, it to know how to take it when you don't have it, you know. So I learned since very young age, you know, that punk is my thing. And then music is my thing. But, and then it was, you know, growing old and, and then I started to, you know, go to a lot of parties. And then I started to, you know, I was invited once to be a DJ in a party. Because I was always doing DJ things in my house anyway. And then from now, from that day, I, f I found myself, oh my God, that's the thing I want to do. You know, and then I started to play in the, in the you know, the night scene in, in Sao Paulo, that was amazing. And then when it's, the things were starting going well, I decided to move to Ireland. <laughs> and then when I moved to Ireland, uh, I had no English whatsoever. So I couldn't go to a place and say, hello, I can play the tunes. I couldn't say a word. So then the idea of not uh, playing, you know, the parties was behind, you know, was, I had like, I was busy with different things. But then now, you know, uh, you know it's time to do it again. Well, I'm from the south of Brazil and in the capital of my state, Porto Alegre, is not as big as Sao Paulo, so we don't have a, 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 such a big scene like uh, in the center of Brazil, but we have a very constant and present scene as well. Um, I've been always more connected to the goth scene and uh, as Lebanon Hanover says, sadness is rebellion as well. <laughs> and uh, in 2010 I was invited to play the tunes for a project called Hypothermia, uh, Hypothermia Project. Uh, there I used to play um, uh, tunes more connected to post-punk and then later I was also invited for another project that uh, doesn't take place anymore that was called Penumbra Cyber Party where I used to play EBM and Dark Electro. So, after that, I had a break, a long break, and now I'm back to the tunes again. Yeah, that's cool. That's good. Yeah, and it was amazing because when we met, you know, uh, we were all the time sharing, you know, music stuff. You know, yeah. was pretty much talking. About, I was talking about a lot of punk, and he was talking a lot of goth. And there's a lot of things that they don't know about goth, and then I learned from him. Yeah, punk, post-punk being shared. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of things as well about <laughs> punk that he didn't know, and he learned from me. So then I was a good mix there, you know, and like I say, Rob, one of the people, one of the person that I know that the, the you know, the knowledge in music is huge. So if you talk to him, you're going to know, you know, a lot of things, especially of goth and post-punk and, you know, so you can learn a lot. So definitely if you go, you know, to the gigs, to the dances on the ground, you're going to listen to bands that you never heard before, you know, that's the fascinating thing, you know, because you're going to get yourself dancing, but you never heard the music before. And, and, and that's about, you know, to be in the nights, to be dancing, you know. So is Rod. <laughs> I don't know why he's saying these things about me. I think I should say the same. And also, he's, uh, he, he does his musical research very constantly. And 
uh, music connected us. Uh, we shared music since the beginning, since we yeah. met. And uh, I think that's the main point that brought us together and also to this project. Yeah, to definitely. share music and to bring music to people. Yeah. yeah. Right, so you know, very exciting. The next party will be in the bank holiday, the Easter Monday. Yeah. So, be 18th of April. So, we like less than three weeks from now. So, yeah, it'll be the same, you know, same gang like uh, me, Rob Tibia doing the DJ. Then we have that's the main drag queens, uh, Kokori, Lavender Queen, and then another queen that joined us that's uh, Nokia. So, you know, the three drag queens, us, and a lot of crazy people. I think, I think this time going to be more, you know, crazy than the last time. Like everybody's buzzing, you know, so that'll be cool, right? Yeah, 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 it'll be super cool. Yes, <laughs> come to dance with us. Yeah, come to dance underground with us. Dance, dance.